This is to all young men. Listen to what I had to say. Don't date a woman just for her looks. You don't want the best looking woman, trust me. The best looking woman, so many dudes you wouldn't believe it. They just know how to hide it better and they know that somebody's gonna want them later on. Don't play women's games, play your game. If you want good advice, you know, my, my dad told me a long time ago, never worry about women, focus on what you got to do all that will take place, but I'm going to say it a different way. Unless the women play your game, don't play with them. Become intolerant of stupidity. If you want to know the, the, the time, and, and, and this only equates for this reason, the time that Mr. Reed got more in his life than he's ever, than anybody in the world's ever gotten, is when I didn't give I didn't care about what you were talking about. Uh, what you were going through in life, I don't care about none of that. Are you going the same way I'm going? If you're not going the same way, I'm going to stop waving down, me down. And when you become like that, you'll get the one you want. Because you realize, let's be honest, you may want to f every woman in the world, but you can't tolerate every woman, bro. Trust me. You need one. And that one Forget about how good she looks. If she can't bring you money, she's not your woman. Do you understand? Your goal is to go out and kill, bring home and eat. Your wife's job is to look for places for you to go and kill what you need to kill to eat. And to lay the path out for you. And to help you cut it and lay it out and cook it. Her job ain't just to get her feet done and get facials all the time. Like you see these dumb ass ball players and all these other these rich old white men just getting pretty women. No. You gonna marry somebody, marry somebody that, that works at a hedge fund. You know, if you're gonna if you gonna give a woman, you know, a million dollars, give a woman a million dollars that's gonna bring you twenty or thirty. If the woman you with ain't making you no money and y'all just smiling and and Netflixing and kicking it. That's why they don't respect you. Because they doing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this brother came with the game. Shout out to this brother, man. I think he said his name is Mr. Reed. But shout out to this brother right here. Listen, bro. The one thing that he said that I kind of didn't really agree with is the part where he said, uh, don't mess with don't mess with pretty women because they smashed a bunch of dudes. Now, in my opinion, that doesn't matter. Whoever she smashed don't matter to me. The amount of dudes, body counts, all that stuff don't matter to me. As long as when I hit it, it fit right, it feel good, and uh, when I pull it out, it's not burning. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's the only thing I care about when it comes to that. So I don't care about body counts. I don't care about how many dudes and all of that, right? Um, it, it, it could be true, right? I mean, a good-looking woman... She could have had a lot of male attention, but she she could have told a lot of guys no. But the, the point of the matter is you'll never know how many guys she smashed. So her, her good looks is not going to equate to how many guys she smashed. The bottom line with that is you'll never know. So truthfully, it doesn't matter. So don't waste your time worrying about it, right? Only thing you need to worry about is if you're sexually compatible with that woman. And that's all you really need to worry about. But everything else in this video, everything else in this video, he is spot on. He is spot on. Yo, don't play their games. Make sure they playing your games. If a woman ain't bringing you no money, don't don't mess with her. Because listen, guys, it's a woman's job to enhance. You understand? It's a woman's job to enhance your vision, your journey, your focus. Like he said, if you if you give a woman a million dollars, make sure she's the type of woman that could bring you back ten to twenty. You get what I'm saying? Whatever you give a woman, she should be able to enhance multiply and bring it back to you you give a woman some food she brings you a meal you give a woman a house she gives you a home you understand what i'm saying anything that you give to a woman he should show herself to be able to multiply it and bring something of more value back to you because a woman is supposed to take what you have going on your vision your consistency your masculine identity whatever that describes you as a man she's supposed to embrace that and then use that, use the confidence from that, 
right? You are a source of confidence to that woman. And then she uses that source of confidence to enhance, to multiply, to make a situation better. You get what I'm saying? That is her job. Notice he said he got the most chicks when he was focused on himself and doing what he wanted to do. When he wasn't worried about what a chick was saying, he wasn't worried about what a chick was going through. He was just focused on what he wanted. You understand? And then when you focus on what you want and then you play the numbers game and you meet different chicks and you let them know exactly what it is. And if they're not about what you about, you keep it moving. You don't waste time. And then you get to the ones that are about what you about that do, that want to do what you want to do. And y'all can get it done. Look, one of the most important parts of this video is when he said, I know you may want to smash every girl in the world, but you can never tolerate every girl in the world. You understand? And here's the thing. Sex is cool. And a, and a woman's physical attributes is cool. But what makes a woman good for a particular man is her attitude, is her perspective, is her ability to show herself to be of value to him. That's what really makes her attractive. So you have to at least be able to tolerate a woman, meaning that the way she carries herself, her values, her personality is compatible with yours. It's the compatibility that is going to create a healthy relationship. It's the compatibility that is going to help create the enhancement for your journey. It's the compatibility that is going to help to ensure that you win. You understand? It's the compatibility with the woman that is going to help to ensure that you are on the way to becoming the best version of yourself. Now, listen, we could all do it alone. We can do it alone, but it hits different when you know who you are, you have a vision and then you find a compatible female to include in that vision to help you enhance what you got going on. Again, remember, you can always do it alone. There's no issue with doing it alone. But when you understand who you are and then you understand how to impart that influence onto a woman and then have her receive your vision and then help you to enhance that vision and then you win because when you win, ultimately she wins. You understand? That's exactly how it works. And here's the thing, guys. Too many times we get invested into a woman's looks. I mean, I know I know we got Instagram. I know, you know, we, the chicks with the BBLs and, the, you know, it, initially, whatever you see is what compels you to go talk to the woman and so on and so forth. But the thing is this. Oh, it's always a woman's values that's going to overshadow her looks. At the end of the day, because when you get tired of smashing and you and you really trying to figure out how she can be of value to you in your life, her looks is not going to do anything. You understand? Her looking good is not going to do anything unless, unless she's actually using her looks to enhance your life. You get what I'm saying? Unless you're a photographer or you own a company or something, or you literally use her looks to your advantage. And if you can figure that out, then fine. So be it. If that's a part of your way to win, then fine. So be it. Right. If you can figure that out, then perfect for you. And that's good. But the thing is, in most cases, a woman's looks is not going to be the the thing that helps you to win. You understand? Because truth be told, a lot of women who only focus on their looks, they never got a chance to develop other parts of their personality. They never got a chance to really understand how to be a good person. They know how to be a good looking person, but they don't know how to be a good person. And with that being said, they, they have no idea how to be good for a man. You understand? And so as a man, you got to know who you are, know what you want and understand that looks are cool and looks are great to get you attracted to a person. But when it comes to really winning, when it comes to really enhancing your masculine identity so you can become the highest and best version of yourself and to invite a woman into that journey. She has to do more than just look good. She has to have some type of substance. You can't just be wasting your resources on this woman and you give her a spot in your life just because she looked good and she's not doing anything else for you. She's not helping you with nothing. She's not doing anything. She's not contributing, you know, ideas or anything. You understand? She's not helping you to network. She's not hooking you up and putting you in a room with certain people. She's not bringing you any money. She's not helping you in any way. That's crazy. You can't be giving up your life, giving up your time to any female who is not enhancing your masculine identity. Notice what he said. He said everything in life happened to him when he was focused on what he wanted. He said he got the most sex. He got he got the most of everything of what he wanted when he was focused on what he was doing. He said, don't play the women's game. Make sure they play in your game. 
You see, but the thing is, you got to already you got to already have a game to play, meaning you have to have a program set up. You have to have a masculine identity. You have to have a certain desire for certain things out of life. You have to have a plan. You have to have things set up for yourself. And then when you meet that compatible woman or women, you can have them fit into the schedule. You can have them fit into the program. You can have everything set so you can provide clear instruction to help them to be the best they can be to help you to be the best you can be. So check this out. I wanted to address the part where he said that his father said, don't worry about women. F just focus on yourself and everything will fall into place. Now, a lot of guys always, a lot of guys always get that wrong because they think that they're supposed to ignore women and only like, g you know, go to work and go to the gym and Look, here's the thing. You have to understand that when a man is focused on himself, he still partakes in whatever he chooses, including women. OK, but the thing is that even when he is dealing with women, he's focused on himself, meaning that he's only focused on what he wants to do. So if he wants to date, then that's what he's focused on. And that's what that's why he's dealing with the women. If he just wants to smash and don't go on any dates, then he's focused on that and not the woman. So the thing is, is that a lot of times guys get stuck on on one particular woman. They see a woman and she look good and they're stuck. And so they go to the woman and they say, oh, I want to go out on a date or I want to smash or I want to do this. or I want to hook up. And then she say, oh, well, I'm not interested. And then the guy, because he's so interested in that one particular chick, he gets discouraged. But what what his father was trying to explain was that don't focus on women, focus on yourself, focus on what it is you want. Each individual woman is just a prospect, not the option. Do you understand? Each individual woman is a prospect, not the choice, not the option. So that's why it's a numbers game, because when you're focused on yourself and you speak to one chick and she's not going your way, then that means you got to speak to another one. And then if the next chick is not going your way, you got to speak to another one. And another one and another one. And when you're focused and confident and you understand what you want, it puts you in position that either the chick got the shit or get off the pot. You understand? And with enough patience, you will find the women that are going your way as long as you stay focused. Because as soon as you start to focus on that one chick, as soon as you slow down your train of thought for that one woman, she's going to realize your weakness. And then that's when she's going to manipulate and take advantage of you because she realizes that you put so much investment in her, the one woman, when you're supposed to be saying to yourself, look, I'm willing to talk to as many women as I need to, to find what I want. Just like if you was going out for a job, job interviews, you should be willing to talk to, to do as many job interviews as you need to until you find the job that you want, right? If you, if you're looking for a certain particular type of food and you go to from restaurant to restaurant and they don't have the food, then you're going to keep going to restaurant to restaurant until they find the food. If you go to the store and they don't have your size shirt, you, you're going to go to the next store and the next store and the next store until you find your size shirt. Because the most important thing is not the shirt, but you getting what you want. Because if the most important thing was the shirt, right, then you, you know, you wear extra large. But if the most important thing is a shirt, then you would buy a medium because that's all they have. And then you would squeeze into that shirt and compromise yourself. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But because you're focused on what you want, which is not just the shirt, but you're focused on looking a certain way. You're focused on what you want. You're focused on getting your size and being comfortable in your shirt. You are willing to go to store after store after store until you find the store that has your size. You're not, you're not upset. You don't feel like the previous stores that didn't have your size rejected you. You realize that these stores just don't have what you want. And so you continue to move forward. That's what it means to focus on yourself, to focus on what you want. Yeah, I'm going to still talk to girls. Yeah, I'm going to still meet women. I'm going to still go out and approach and do what I do. But I'm not making any of those singular particular women more important than my focus. Because if my focus is to find a girl that wants to smash, I'm going to keep talking to women until I find a girl that wants to smash. And I don't care about all the girls that said no. I'm only focused on the one that's about to say yes. 
You get what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with the with the shirt, with the with whatever you're looking for in life. You got to keep going until you find it. Why? Because the most important thing is what you're trying to find, not each individual situation that you ask for what you were trying to find. Because each individual situation don't guarantee that they're going to have it. And if they don't have it, that means you got to stop talking to them and move on to the next situation until you find whatever it is you're trying to find. So guys get that wrong a lot of the times because they get so invested into a woman's looks you understand which is why you can't worry about how a woman looks now am i saying to purposely go out and date women that you find unattractive no that's not what i'm saying but at the same time you have to you have to understand the balance you have to understand the balance and you have to understand that a woman's looks is not the most important thing i mean there are there are ways that a woman can be attractive and still not necessarily be the best looking. You get what I'm saying? So you have to you have to know in your mind what that means to you and understand what you're attracted to, because what we're attracted to and what we consider pretty or beautiful may be two different things. If we know exactly who we are as a man, if we know exactly our if we know our masculine identity and we understand truly what we find attractive. So make sure you understand that a woman's looks is not the most important thing. All right. So wish your boy Miles Cunningham. Hope you got some from this video. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. Be grateful. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.